Hello there, and welcome to Ancient Theories Channel. I lately I have made some videos about stone bales, and yeah, it's a lot. Well, uh, in recent times I had some time to experiment with other tools and order link. As you may see, there's my dear old tent to hard to do with the binding tip. And the reason is that I used also a copper pipe and abrasive powder, codon powder, to compare the effects. And the power to the, the real speed is, is better, of course, but the effect is quite the same. Uh, you can also see this here. I made this cord wheel. Uh, I drilled this with my power tool for one hour, and this is the effect. Uh, you can also see the surface of this cord wheel is is rough, and uh, the same roughness with corundum uh, powder and a copper tube. About the lasers, to create their vase, uh, precise vase in stone and granite, one makes a certain way of drilling. And I also bought a 3D scanner to show you that my drill with copper tube and abrasive powder is pretty precise. But to be honest, the scanner gets only 100 microns of precision because I don't have lying around 10 runs ESD. And I bought this, and it's not the best scanner, but I will show you the effect. And you can compare this with a perfect circle and see that those tool of drills uh, and uh, this rotary movement by my hands, it was done by my hands, was pretty, pretty good. Okay, it's, it's still only precise in hundreds of microns, but uh, the thing is, it's the same thing you can say about uh, today's modern uh, tools with diamond tips and tubular wheels. We are not talking about CNC, of course, which can uh, hang get to places like five or four microns of precision. So why to even bother with corundum when the speed is not affected. I can use corundum powder or quartz powder and the speed of the link is the same and their uh, effect is in tubular link the same with copper tubes or diamond tubular wheels and other tools. You see, maybe I is that the rough state of the race was the first step in the precise days making. And my idea is that the second step was something else. My idea, my idea is it might be something that are like tumbling rock. You can use corundum to and olive oil to tumble a rock. And I tried to do this. I tried to tumble this rock. And by tumbling, you can also use the vibration, but I am using tumbling or creating vibration and movements of little particles in those mixture of corundum grains and those stones, because that's the way you can do this also without any modern tools. You can use wind and water, stream, whatever. I don't have a river because uh, I don't know if anybody nowadays had a river, but you can generate a stream of water and use the stream of water to create a movement, vibration, tumbling vibration, like in the sea when you hear the movement of the sea. And the glass in the sea is polished by the water and the sand. And my sand is corundum powder, which means it can polish even harder stuff than glass. Okay, but crumbling clock requires three to eight weeks 
of tumbling to get their smooth surface. And I would also need a fine grating of my corundum crystals. And I don't have such a time. I'm not going to spend next four or five weeks, uh, 24 hours per day, tumbling a rock, okay? I decided to use a modern tool to tumble this for me. And I don't have a tumbler, so I use the little embot robot, okay? But the thing is, it was not super effective. Uh, I could also say I expected more from my robot. And in the end, the effect of tumbling was uh, minimal. But I know I can tumble it further. I can spend more time doing this, or I can experiment with tumbling and modern tools more. It's doable, and it was doable during ancient education times. Oh, look, here is modern uh, mason working with chisel and stones. I know it's not running stone, but uh, you can appreciate his work. And he's definitely better than me in this stuff. But uh, listen, so the thing is the ancient Egyptians had all the tools required to deliver us some really nice stone vases. And they could also make those look precise using crumbling and abrasive powders and abrasive pastes. But that's not it. That's not the thing you are looking here. You are looking here for a proof that there was ancient civilization, like in the pale of two industries from uncharted eggs. And the thing is, yes, there was two industries there, but those industries were in the same place, in the same time, done by the same people. Some of them were skilled more and some of them were skilled less. Also, some of them had knowledge how to do stuff and others didn't. Uh, somebody pulled no leather belts for sharpening razors in Turkey. They use can, abrasive pastes and leather strips or leather belts for sharpening. You can also say it's the same method as sandpaper but with leather. And to be honest, I don't know any evidence uh, of this use of abrasives uh, in ancient times. But the idea is very simplistic. You can just go and take some leather and use abrasive paste to uh, sharpen tool or maybe use it on stone to make it smooth. Okay. And their conclusion is that the, all the techniques presented here could deliver you not the vase itself, but this method of using tumbling rock, abrasive powders, leather straps with abrasive pastes, uh, it can be the second step which can bring us from 50 to 100 microns of precision ways to 5 or 10 microns of precision ways. Okay? That's the idea here. But the time, oh, the time, is great. You will need a lot of weeks, maybe months, to give this pursuit. Look, it's here, it's global. It, you can really make those bases with AUK and a CNC of the line and tick tools. Till we meet again.